with more of the Pope on Film. Act three, money! Act three! Act three! Why did this have to happen? There Thank is you. no God! This might be one of the shortest decks. <laughs> Yes, buddy, my friend, it is time once again for all of us here at the Pope on Film Podcast to casually saunter our way into our third and final act of the show. And it is said third act wherein we finally and eventually get around to discussing our all-natural, low-fat, non-GMO movie of the week. And this week, we summon Bad Movie Man with a look at the 2018 film Slender Man. To be clear, until we hear from him, uh, I think we might be misgendering Slender Man. I mean, yes. why do we know that he's a man? Because he wears a suit? Women can wear suits too. Hashtag girl boss. Hashtag if, girl power. If anything, he reminds me more of Tilda Swinton than anything else. Yeah. So... I'm thinking, you know, we should just call him Slender Person until until we hear from from the person themselves, is, is what I'm saying. Anyway. Well, uh, well, wouldn't we also have to find out, like, who, like, what is he? I mean, is he human? Because, yes, if he's human, then he is quite slender. Uh, if he is of another people... He may be quite the chub. <laughs> we got a certified chode on our hands. Yeah. Okay. So uh, every summer we do uh, themed summers or in, in this podcast. We have done a summer of Star Wars, a summer of Saw, and uh, I still can't believe that Fred Will Willard is dead, but that was the best summer, was our summer of Fred Willard. So yeah. much last summer. Uh, you just mentioned something that I got the idea to make it about Star Wars. Okay, cool. Also, remember when you made me sat down and watched? Yeah, I, I, I sat down and forced you to watch the first Star Wars movie. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm looking forward uh, to watching the next one. Oh, yes, uh, uh, Star Wars 2 Cruise Control. Because now that you made me watch one, it made me want to watch the other. Good. Okay. Now that uh, so this summer we're taking a, a, a deep dive into IMDb's Bottom 100, which is an ever-changing list of the 100 worst-reviewed movies of all time. And now we are here at Slender Man. Uh, I forgot to write down what number... Slenderman is on the bottom 100. I believe it's somewhere in the 30s. Let me see. I've got the list right here. Uh, shit, shit, where is this thing? Uh, the difficult part is that the IMDb bottom 100 keeps changing. So, oh wow, it's at 47. It didn't, it wasn't, it, it was actually uh, lower previously. Yeah. But yeah, so there you go. This week we're doing the movie Slenderman. Holy um, hell. Okay. Um, fun fact, Bunny, you got the wrong poster. Do I? Looking, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because uh, this week's movie is from 2018, and it's just called Slender Man, and it stars actress Julia Goldani Tellis, who I actually love. Um, so there are two Slender Man two movies? Slender Man movies. Yeah, you took you got the poster for the Slender Man, but oh. the Slender Man poster. I, I just wanted to point that out. I, I think that's funny. Okay, so... I'm not watching this one either. Yeah. That's how yeah. bad this movie was. That I'm blaming this movie too. The weird thing about Slender Sight Man... Sight unseen. Is, 
The weird thing about Slenderman as a character is that it's like, it, when it comes to other like mythical evil creatures out there like oh uh, I wonder where that got started I wonder where that got started we 100% know where Slenderman got started um yeah 2009 on the internet forum something awful they had a photoshop contest where the 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 forum users were tasked to uh, create your own unique paranormal image and a post and a, a forum person on there named Eric Knudsen uh, posted two black and white images of children and and photoshopped a tall thin figure wearing a black suit and it, the 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 his backstory was that uh, this tall person who the kids called the slender man would um, abduct children 100% fake yeah created online from a specific post that eventually went viral and suddenly everyone is is doing fan art and cosplay and uh, creepy pasta uh, and it became so popular that they made video games and different films and one of the popular things about slender man is there's some media scholar out there who said that that the popularity slender man became so popular because there's very little backstory to the character of slender man which means he's adaptable to whatever you want him to be in yeah you know like it, there is no mythology for this character so you can do whatever you want with it but it's weird because slender man isn't real slender man was created by one specific internet poster so i'm confused as to why two 12 year old girls stabbed one of their classmates 19 times in 2014 to appease Slender Man. When was this? Was that a real uh, thing? No, it's a real thing. It happened in Waukesha, Wa Waukesha, Wisconsin. Two 12-year-old girls held down and stabbed a 12-year-old classmate 19 times when questioned later by authorities. They reportedly claimed that they wished to commit a murder as the first step to becoming proxies for Slender Man. They also stated that they were afraid that Slender Man would kill their families if they didn't commit the murder. Uh... Yeah, one of the girls reportedly said that Slenderman watches her, can read minds, and can teleport. I'm just confused that, like, this isn't real. This was created by some random person online. Yeah. Really confused as to why there are people out there that think this is real. You the know? same reason that people think the Earth is flat or the Mandela effect is real, or any, any, any other thing, you know? I mean, weren't there stories like this from Momo as well? Yeah, I guess. I guess, yeah. But, yeah, uh, uh, people were super pissed, like, in 2014, and when it happened, 2014 and 2015, people were really pissed off, uh, you know, online rage about uh, a moral panic over Slenderman and, and the potential dangers that the Slenderman story poses to children. Please think about the children! And so a lot of people were like, when the Slenderman, when this week's movie Slenderman came out, a lot of people were like, uh, when this came out in 2018, it's like, yeah, wasn't someone stabbed, like, just a couple of years ago about this character? Maybe this movie shouldn't be coming out. Yeah. 
But thanks. Well, and, no and somebody and somebody it. killed somebody on Craigslist because of Dexter. Fucking Dexter! Oh, you know? my wife was so into Dexter. God, I will say about this week's movie. Uh, uh, I'm a big fan of this movie star. Uh, Julia Goldani Tellis. She got her start uh, in the short-lived uh, TV series Bunheads, and I, I it, it was a really cute show that only lasted one season, and, it, and oh, I just fell in love with that show, and her in particular, so I like knowing that she's still out there doing acting, Yeah. but I imagine that this movie doesn't look good on a resume. No. I, and I found something on Wikipedia, on Wikipedia. Um, I, there's a Wikipedia page for this movie. And, okay, <laughs> Goldani Tellis plays Hallie. Jazz Sinclair plays Chloe. Uh, Javier Botet plays Slenderman. But then it says on Wikipedia... Adam Driver as Slender Man voice. Adam Driver is not in any way related to this fucking movie. <laughs> I think this was someone putting a pr- sneaking a prank onto the Slender Man Wikipedia page yeah. and no one is bothered to take it down because who gives a shit about the movie Slender Man? Yes. I think that's hilarious. Adam Driver has nothing to do with this fucking film, but according to Wikipedia, he was the voice of Slenderman. Slenderman doesn't even have a voice. No. In this movie, for Adam Driver to fucking... Yeah, anyway. Usually, buddy, I will watch the film two or three times throughout the week. This week, however, I waited until the last second, so I watched this week's film for the first time this morning while battling a severe hangover, and I just would like to take this time to say, don't watch this movie while hungover. Don't watch this movie at all. No. Especially not while hungover, because being hungover makes the film worse. Anyway. And, and, and for, for fuck's sakes, light a goddamn scene. This is the darkest fucking movie. They go outside, they can't see a motherfucking thing. We only knew that it was a night shot outside because every fucking time a dog barked. <laughs> yeah. Uh, according... Uh, there was an interview... There was an interview that... Uh, so they made the film... And it was like a two-hour-long movie, but then the the production company Screen Gems, once the movie was done, that's when they said, "Okay, we're gonna have to change this film and cut some stuff out because uh, we filmed it as an R movie. We want it to be PG-13." So several scenes got cut. And and also, uh, Screen Gems, the production company, was worried because of the stabbings and because of Slender Man and this and that. So they cut things out to go from an R to a PG-13 and also cut some things out because they were fearful that the public would get pissed off about the Slender Man movie. So, it, so the film is an hour and a half and also... Apparently, there were a lot of establishing scenes that would have made tr- transitions from one scene to another more understandable. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like, like in this movie, oh, they're hanging out in class, and then next thing you know, it's nighttime, and they're in the forest. You know, yeah. like in the original film, there would have been a a scene, some scenes that would explain shit better, but. Nothing really happens and in this And what time. the fuck was up with the... Okay, look. The whole shaky head, shaky horror thing... Yeah. That yeah. wasn't even good in the 90s. The 90s or, or, and or early aughts, I think. It yeah. wasn't even good then when it was a fucking trend. This yeah. is not a thing to be 
to be going all retro with? Well, I think one of the reasons why this film ended up the way that it did is because the director is a French film director. Yeah. From France. So I can imagine him being interviewed and be like, we wanted the audience to feel the fear that these women felt. So we tried to make the film as dark as possible to, to, to amp up the tension and the fear in the audience. And you know, all of that through, through. Yeah, French. okay, dark, but this is a library. <laughs> this yeah. is a library, okay? I mean, yeah. like, like, we, well, we keep it dark to this because reading distracts from the smooth, cool jazz music playing and our espresso bar. Yeah. That's the library in this town. Yeah. Uh, so, so the director... He, he directed a short, and then he directed a French movie, and then he directed an American horror movie, and then he did the film Stomp the Yard, which was uh, uh, vaguely popular. And then he directed the movie The Losers, which I, I have heard of, but I never saw. It starred Jeffrey D. Morgan, and it was based on some Vertigo comic book. And so he's a director, and he's directing things, and he's directing things, and then in 2018 he did Slender Man, and that was the last movie he directed. But now he's doing TV. He's directed a whole bunch of TV shows, uh, The Mentalist, Hawaii Five-0, CSI, Empire, uh, MacGyver, Magnum P.I., Reboot. He directed an episode of The Umbrella Academy. Really? Yeah, that's worrisome. <laughs> um, that, like, legitimately scares me. You know what this movie re reminded me of? The Turning. Yeah. In the sense that here's an hour and a half film, but also, like, hardly anything happens in this movie. Yeah. No, oh. yeah. Like, no. No. Exactly. Yeah. There's a there's a lot of yelling about things. Uh, the girls seem to hallucinate in some spots, which is to expected when you are immersed in this in this Slender Man fantasy world that you're building up to yourself because you saw a video on the internet. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking. Okay. It. Fucking Slenderman. Fuck, fuck this movie. The, the entire movie is just 14, summon a thing, and then that thing slowly takes out the 14s. It's 10 minutes of plot in an hour and a half movie. Yeah. The movie barely exists. Which, which just... Is... I, I, I don't know the right word for this. I, I heavy-handed yeah it's it's just dripping in its own shit you know like like yeah. no music or limited music you know overacted scenes over important non-important things. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Like, this... This movie just doesn't exist. This movie doesn't exist. Just like Slender Man doesn't exist. Yeah. I... This movie... It's like I watched the movie, and then afterwards, I'm like, it felt like I didn't watch a movie. Well, yeah, yeah. My brain started rejecting it almost immediately, so I started watching it again oh, just pre-show. 
Yeah. Because even watching it the night before, I, I, I mean, it's just become a tradition in the household. Saturday, Jeannie comes home from the shopping. Um, we put some stuff away. Uh, we go have a cigarette or two. And then we have dinner, which is something microwavable, usually White Castles. And we watch the week's movie. Yeah. Wow, Jeannie, I sincerely apologize for this summer. <laughs> so, so from there, it immediately started erasing itself from my head, except yeah. it is really fucking dark. I'm glad they gave Stevie Wonder a chance behind the camera. And the shaky head thing is pissing me off and could not remember anything else about the movie. It reminds me, you keep saying Stevie Wonder was the cinematographer, but in my mind, it was the, it was the cinematographer from And God Spoke. And they're watching the dailies, and it's all dark. And it's like, what the hell happened to our footage? I used a few of my special filters. Perhaps I used too many. <laughs> That's what I was thinking in my head. This is one of those movies yeah, where that works. Where it's like, this is one of those movies where it's like, shit. If you saw this in the drive-in, you wouldn't see a goddamn thing. Yes. At all, you'd be fucking pissed. But, but yeah, that's all I've got for this week's movie. It sucks. Yeah, yeah. It 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 really fucking sucks. It's barely a film. It's barely a movie. This movie is barely a movie. Ridiculous. It, it, it barely exists. I can't think of anything that was like really redeeming about this movie. And like there's always something in a movie. It's like it's like no matter what it is, you gotta stop and be like, oh well, okay. That was a good shot. You know? Or something. The soldiers' costumes were very realistic. That's how yes. positive. The soldiers' costumes were very realistic. And there, there is, there is nothing, nothing in this movie. Uh, the only I can't thing even that distinguish like... the girls between each other in my head. Like, okay, which one was that again? I like the star Julia Goldani Tellis. She was on the show Bunheads, and now she's doing some other shows where she shows her boobs a lot. But I, I really like Julia Goldani Tellis, the star of this. She's got this weird look to her that makes yeah. her just stand out. And I was happy to see her in this, despite the fact that this movie sucks ass. Yes. Yeah. But but that is the positive for me. I was just happy to see her again. Bunheads was a great show. But yeah, that's all I've got this week. I, 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 I think we are going to need a reward after the summer. Yeah. A big yeah. reward for doing this to people, for people, <gasps> so that they can know how bad things can get. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, at least we didn't do this in 2020. Yeah, yeah, this is true. This is true. That might have so pushed society over, over the edge. Yeah. We would have been one step closer to the edge. <laughs> so, so that's it for this week. Next week, we gotta do it. We're gonna do it. We gotta do it. We're watching Battlefield Earth. Okay. Uh, uh, one last word on Slenderman. Uh, just to yeah. keep the comparison going. The room definitely had more action than Slender Man. Yeah, uh, that's weird. That is weird to think about. The room had better characterizations. Yeah, looking through looking through all the movies that we've done before, like more things happened in brass. Yeah. 
than Slender Man. Yeah. Like, at least you could laugh at the Wicker Man reboot. Yes. How interesting is that? There, there aren't even good jokes here. Yeah. Like, like Jesus, that's weird to think about. Yeah. Yeah. No, this movie was fucking horrible. This what's that? Movie, what's that behind movie? you? What's that strange yeah. shadow? It oh, looks like a Slender Man. I watched that video Katie, online! Katie! Katie! <laughs> Katie, oh, no. please, please! I'm gonna be taken! Oh, unless you sacrifice something, buddy. Yes. Yeah, so that's all I got this week. Next week we're doing uh, Battlefield Earth. Not sure what we're gonna do for chat, but I've got so many uh, stacked up. And uh, we're going to talk a little bit about the WWE, um, but not really the WWE. I've got a great bit. Okay, I, I, I've been seeing some odd WWE things floating al- floating along. I've the, got I've got a really bizarre story that I'm I'm really excited to talk about next week. But that's next week. Now that I'm looking back at this week, uh, the highs and the lows. Uh, Slender Man, The Fighting Girlfriend, Jaws the Revenge, Paul Williams. I gotta say, I think this has been a pretty good episode of the podcast. Bad movie, good episode. The, uh, uh, this has been a good episode. Yeah, it's the, it was short. That's positive. That's a positive. That's, that's a positive. I, I, I think I, I, I blame Slender Man. Yeah, so do I. Because I, so I, I unfortunately think that this week's episode has been as lackluster as the movie we, we covered. Yeah. It set the tone. Yeah. Yeah, agreed. But yeah. So uh, we were not up to uh, our you know, normal the <clears throat> beer, our our uh, uh, huh? Yeah, yeah. We don't have the same uh, joie de vivre, right? That, that we normally have, but exactly a large portion of that, large portion of that is just because I'm hungover. But that's beside the point. Um, well, no, yes, I, 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 I blame this movie. I blame this movie that that it's 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 got a boringness that reaches into your soul and makes yeah. everything else more dull because of it. Yeah. Yes, I concur. I one hundred percent concur. With your assessment, good sir. <laughs> so until next week, I am Bunny Williams. And I am Reverend Steve, and on behalf of Natasha and Maxwell and everybody else in this house, I just want to say thanks for listening, and we will see you next week, you godless heathens. Mm-hmm. Did you do Swallow's movie to Thank Man? you. And Thor and Slenderman. Do 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 do